What's up everybody? Joe from Joe's Gold Garage here. I've got my half-sister's car. 2002. <laughs> 2002 Ford Escape XLT V6 two-wheel drive. Man, this has been a great little truck for my half sister she's 20 years younger than me and she is a wild woman <laughs> love her to death yeah she is crazy <laughs> but anyway this is her little ford escape uh she's had it my dad bought it for uh gosh about seven seven eight years ago they were the second owners it's been maintained well it's got some good uh toyo open country radials on it that look like they're in good shape really good shape the car's been super well maintained now you know it's a little dirty and it's a little banged up she had a little incident with a tree that uh as you can see we reused the plastic bumper and you can see some waves maybe you can see some waves in the door down through there but we had to put a used fender on a used headlight and we had to replace this whole strut uh strut and uh you know all the suspension components there it didn't blow any airbags or anything but it just kind of knocked everything out of whack um and we did it ourselves uh wish i had some before shots but that's been a couple of years ago before i really started making videos but uh you can tell by the headlight see how that one needs to be redone <laughs> the headlight we may have actually bought brand new i can't quite remember but i know the fender was used and most of the uh, suspension components we bought all new um but was able to reuse the bumper and like i said just left the door as is with the dents you can see, it's hard to see but uh this is um the v6 O2 two-wheel drive XLT. It's got a power moonroof. Uh, it does have leather. Now this car is not clean by any means. It has the typical Ford Escape, you know, peeling door panels. Now I don't know why the key's beeping with the uh, passenger door open, but as you can see, it's a it's a chick's car. <laughs> It's got a nice Sony aftermarket head unit in it with Bluetooth and all that good stuff. Um, you know, back seats and, you know, it's a little dirty, but decent condition. We got our hula hoops. Um, headliner could use a little help. But this thing has 159,000 miles on it now. And it runs great. We all could use a little more Panda. Yeah, this thing runs really well. Despite it being a little bit dirty and a little bit beat up on, it's been maintained pretty well. Um, just that little V6 engine. The only thing I've noticed with this engine is it had... It has the slightest little exhaust leak. Just a small little tick. It's not too bad, but it is just a tad bit noticeable. Especially when the car's cold, when it's warm, you normally don't notice it. But, uh, geez. There we go. Oh, there you go. Three liter V6. Not sure if that's the Ford or a Mazda version. I'm thinking it's a Mazda version, but it puts out 200 horsepower, which was phenomenal back in 2001 when these escapes came out. Looks like we've had some recall work done there. Uh, I know all this intake stuff right here has been replaced recently, uh, which I think was a common issue with these. Um, like I said, if anything breaks on it, it gets it, it gets repaired. No deferred maintenance. Um, 
but it just it runs great and it still drives great to be as old as it is i mean this thing is so well screwed together and it's just a fun little car to drive we'll take a little spin one thing i like about these escapes and i know the later model ones uh, went to a floor shift, but I like that these earlier generations had a column shift. I think that's so cool. I love a column shift car though, because it just, you know, it frees up all the space down here for cup holders and, you know, little cubbies and junk trays and stuff like that. Um, but this is a, I mean, this is just a great running little truck. That's a little noisy. Um, Got a few little rattles and a few clunks and what have you, but but it's got plenty of pep. Runs and drives good. Um, this coolant light, I don't know if you can see that that's a coolant light, but that's what it is. That coolant light has been on for years. Um, when the car's been in the shop for other mechanical work, uh, you know, they've requested, hey, can you take care of that or look at that for me? And they all, it, the two or three last repairs, my dad said, the, they came out and said, oh yeah, we took care of that coolant light for you, all fixed up, all fixed up. And in a day or two, it comes back on. Uh, the car is not losing coolant and uh, it does not run hot and uh, I'm just guessing it's the sensor. So I don't know if that uh, is just so hard for the guys that have been working on this thing to figure out or if it's not easy to replace. I'm not sure. I uh, haven't done much research on uh, tributes or escapes with the 3 liter V6 and their coolant sensor. But I certainly am going to look into it uh, after I've driven this car today because this is the first time I've been in this car since I think we repaired it from the little mishap with the tree which is gosh that's been at least three years now so it's been a while since I've I've visited with this car I will say the uh, three liter v6 in this thing is uh, pretty peppy about three-quarter throttle here. A little sluggish right off the line. But then it kind of gets going. That's about 50% throttle. Not too bad. We'll, uh, when I get up here, ride and do a full U-turn. And the speed limit goes up a little bit. We'll do a true 0 to 60. But yeah, this little baby cruises right along. Not bad, not bad. Recently had a four-wheel alignment done, so it drives pretty straight. Not bad. Yeah. I mean, for, you know, to be 17 years old and have 160K, I mean, shoot, I'm, I'm doing almost, so what, 65, 63 miles an hour. It's a, it's a smooth little rod. It's not bad. I'm pretty impressed, actually. Um, not bad. Not bad for an old... Ford SUV, Ford Mazda. I'm going to do a little U-turn right up here. Let me see if I can get an actual 0 to 60 kick down here. Got the AC on. I'm actually going to turn it off. Just so we can get the most of what we can get. Alright, here. Whoa, shit. Here we go. <laughs> Gosh, it's a little slow off the line. It's almost like the transmission is slipping just a little bit. Yeah, it really. I think the tranny is probably due for a service because I noticed just then that that was really kind of dragging out. It should be a lot quicker than that. 
these aren't very big vehicles and 200 horsepower this thing should have been spinning the front wheels and uh, I don't think so but anyway well that's just my quick little wrap up of the O2 Escape no need to you know it's got cruise power windows cold air conditioning power sunroof I mean you know there's a million escape videos out there but I just wanted to show you guys one that has a little bit of age on it and some uh, road hard put up wet miles on it and this is a fine example of that so like subscribe comment I try to respond to everyone and uh, appreciate you watching Joe's Golden Garage. Peace. Let's try and go up this hill here since I'm suspecting this transmission's a oh, god. Oh my god. <laughs> it won't kick down to first. I've got it to the floor. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's bad. That's not good. <laughs> oh jeez. On the overdrive lights flashing. Was it doing that? Oh man. Yeah. I think it's on its last leg. Tran tranny wise. So you put it in first. Okay. I put it. I dropped it. I manually dropped. But oh shit! It's going to go in reverse. Look, it won't go. Put it in second. Okay. Yeah. It's oh. Oh yeah, the transmission. This thing is done for. But it could just be low on fluid, so I'm gonna check that when we get back.